prostate cancer. It is the most common cancer found exclusively in men. Almost one in seven men will develop prostate cancer every year. And prostate cancer is also the second leading cause of cancer-related death in men here in the United States. Well, Dr. Kevin Campbell joins us live here in the studio. So tell us a little bit more about this disease. You know, first of all, as we said, prostate cancer is the most common cancer we see in men other than lung cancer, which kills more men. Right. Uh, you know, the thing about prostate cancer is there may be no symptoms at all until the disease is really, really far advanced. And so it's really critical that we do a really good job of seeing if you're at risk and if so, screening for that test. So what are the risk factors and what can we do to prevent it? You know, some of the risk factors we think of commonly is age. Prostate cancer is rare in men under the age of 40. It's much more common over 65. Uh, in fact, two-thirds of cases in, are, are diagnosed over 65. Race is more common in African-American men and those of Caribbean descent. We see it more in North America. If you have a family history of prostate cancer and a brother or a father, you're twice as likely to have prostate cancer. And there are some genetic mutations, like you see with breast cancer, that also apply to prostate cancer as well. So how is it diagnosed and how is it treated based on how early you catch it? You know, first of all, it's very, very treatable, particularly when we uh, treat it early and very curable. You know, there is a blood test called a PSA mm -hmm. or a prostate-specific antigen that we use. You can also have a prostate exam in your doctor's office. If these are normal, then you need a prostate biopsy where they take a piece of the tissue and look at it under the microscope. Once we do that, then we can start talking about treatment options. And that exam, I mean, it's not necessarily the most comfortable thing for a moment, but it could save your life. Absolutely. And you know, there's a lot of controversy right now among the, the medical organizations of who should be screened, how they should be screened, and when they should mm -hmm. be screened. So I tell patients, have that conversation with your physician and determine, are you someone who needs to be screened earlier, later, what have you, based on your whole risk profile. All right, absolutely. Dr. Campbell, thanks so much. If you'd like to learn more about this, just go to our website. If you have ideas for stories you would like Dr. Campbell to cover, you can go uh, submit what you would like to see at WNCN.com.